Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna have a first look at this Nolapo Amazon branded Cobra Reflex bag. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so today we have this Nolapo Amazon branded Cobra Reflex bag. We're going to assemble and try it out. Um, this has been one of the more requested videos for a Cobra bag on this channel, mainly due to how inexpensive it is. You can get this on Amazon for $79 with free shipping. So definitely one of the cheapest Cobra bags. I mean, it's even cheaper than like the crappy Everlast um, Reflex bag I did a review on a little while ago. I don't really have very high hopes for this just because it uses a suction cup bottom and it just seems kind of more like a toy rather than an actual um, boxing and exercise type device. But I guess that's what we'll find out here today. So just to show you what it includes, it comes obviously in the box. Uh, first thing is going to be this foam, red foam ball. So this thing is actually pretty heavy. Kind of reminds me of the ringside ball. It's not inflated. It's just a solid foam ball and you can see it has some kind of a texture to it. Um, the firmness is uh, pretty firm. Then you're going to have this base, this metal base right here, where I believe this kind of, this plastic uh, yellow piece almost acts like a shock absorber, I guess. Um, then it comes with these aluminum poles that are pre, um, I guess you could say pre-threaded. Uh, then it has this base. You can see the welds on there. It looks pretty crappy. Again, this thing is made in China, so I mean, these are probably mass-produced and just put them together real quick. And then here's a spring. Actually feels pretty durable. It has a, a good weight to it. Um, that's gonna screw onto the two poles and then a foam collar, very, very ringside-ish. Uh, that goes to the very top. Um, installations instructions. So basically how it's gonna look when we're done. And a parts list. So it's kind of nice that they get, at least give you that. They give you a parts list of what you should have in there and what it should look like when you're finished. And then suction cups, this is what's going to actually keep it connected to the floor. So the, the drawback with this Cobra bag, I can just tell you already, is if you don't have a slick floor, like a garage floor, or a, a nice flat surface to, to for the suction cups to stick to, then this bag won't work for you. If you just have carpet, um, then don't buy this bag because it's not going to work. So you're definitely, or just regular concrete, um, it's not going to stick. So just make sure that you have a slick surface that it can uh, make suction to and then the hardware bag so this is everything that's included and uh, let's go ahead and assemble it So just got finished assembling the bag. I'll give you guys a quick breakdown from top to bottom. So the very top is the foam ball um, that connects to the pole using uh, an Allen screw with a, uh, a knot on the other end. The foam collar just kind of 
goes right over that. That way it covers the, the screws and prevents you from injuring your hand or busting up your gloves. And you have this aluminum pole that has these little indentations right here, which basically uh, is preset for the, the adjustment screw that you have right here. That yeah, pole slides in there. And then from here, the, that pole is actually pre-threaded that you can screw into this metal spring. Um, another thread on the underside, all the way down to the metal base. So the base uses a couple of machine screws and then that yellow plastic piece sandwiches in between this plate and, and the bottom base plate. And I'm assuming just for some shock absorption and so the metal is it's not metal on metal. Uh, so it takes away some of the vibration. And then you have the suction cups uh, which just come right through the metal plate and you just put this little nut on top. And there's a total of one, two, three, four, uh, eight suction cups total. So there you have it. And I can tell you guys already, just for me, barely hitting it, that this thing is a really slow reacting reflex bag, uh, really similar to the Everlast one. So you can see it's, it's definitely not like a fierce reflex bag or any of those other faster ones. Um, it's definitely a sl slow moving bag, but let's go ahead and start hitting it. And I'll give you guys my initial thoughts. Hey, what's up guys, Carlo here. And today I'm gonna be doing an initial review and first look of this Nalapo Amazon branded Cobra reflex bag. Uh, now I've gotten a bunch of requests on this particular bag to do a video on because of how inexpensive it is. It's only $79 on Amazon uh, with free shipping if you're a Prime member. And compare that to most uh, of the better performing Cobra bags, those usually start anywhere between $250 uh, to $300 on up, just depending on the brand that you get. So my first initial thoughts when I, when I saw this was that it was more like a toy rather than like a, like a legitimate piece of, of boxing equipment you can train with. Um, and in some respects it kind of is, but there's definitely some redeeming things to this, um, especially at the price point of $79. Now, the first thing I noticed is that the base only uses suction cups. So I was skeptical about that when I purchased it because typically something like that, if you hit it with any power, this thing would probably pop off and go flying. Uh, most Cobra bags either have suction cups with, uh, with a base that you can fill with water or sand, or they have the option to be able to put a lot of weight on it to keep it down. And you might be able to do this with the Olympic weights, but it does have this, this, little, uh, this little T on the, where the welds are at, so that might block it from happening. The next thing I noticed was how low the spring was. And to me, that makes it rebound really slow. You can actually see right there that, you know, this is nowhere near the Fierce Reflex or even the Amazon slow time one I did where, you know, it gets that nice quick rebound where you can really string your one twos and your combinations together and do it real fast. And this one moves pretty slowly right there. So to me, that's a little bit more geared to being more of a beginner's bag rather than someone that's more advanced. So if you're watching this video and you're looking for something like the Fierce Reflex bag or something along the lines of that, then I would definitely be um, mindful of this one that this probably won't get the job done. You won't be really happy with this bag. Um, the next thing is gonna be the height adjustability. So the maximum height is actually where it's at right now, maybe a little bit taller. To give you guys a reference, I'm about five foot eight and uh, just unscrew it. That's right about where the maximum height is where the, the actual rod will hold that. So. That's the maximum height, any bit, any taller than that, and uh, you're probably gonna be punching downwards, or if you're looking to work your head movement, you're not gonna be able to, to really work your head movement because you're too tall for it. Now the shortest it can go, which is perfect for you know, someone shorter or little kids, is that you can go pretty short with it, tighten this adjustment knob, and the good thing about it is that it actually rebounds a little bit quicker because naturally you, you've actually shortened the amount of momentum or the run that the pipe and the spring has to account for. So now that it is shorter, um, it can actually rebound quicker. So I'd say that this is about four feet tall um, at this height, which is, I think is a really good height uh, for someone that's younger and wants to get into uh, and get into boxing and try it out for the first time. So let me go ahead and put it at my height now, tighten it down. It does have that foam collar like I showed you guys. It's good for protecting your hand or your gloves when you start hitting it. And you can actually throw some power shots in this. Uh, I was kind of surprised that when I first hit it with a good straight right hand, I thought that the suction would pop right off. But you can actually see that it holds, uh, holds pretty well, all things considered. 
Okay, so the benefits of this bag. Um, one, it's gonna be if you're a novice, if you're a beginner in boxing and uh, you're learning the fundamentals of throwing a jab and the straight right hand, mostly your straight punches. You can work your hooks and your uppercuts with this, but it's mainly like your jab and your straight right hands that you're gonna, you're gonna do with this. So working your jab and your straight, you can see that if you try to throw anything fa fast, like a quick one-two, you're gonna miss because of how slowly this thing rebounds. So if you're look again, if you're looking for something that reacts quicker and you can really throw some combinations together, you're not gonna get it with this. But if you're a beginner, you can actually get a pretty decent workout in with this. You can just throw your one-twos, your right hands, your jabs, work on your timing, work on the bag coming in and timing it. And you get a good satisfying feeling of punching the bag because it's nice and dense. So it feels like a ringside bag. If you guys have ever used that, that you know, the ringside cover bags, it feels just like that. And then of course you can work on your defense, your head movement slipping. But again, if you're trying to throw like a quick one too, you're gonna be punching air with the right hand. Um, or you have to let off the power. So you're just gonna be tapping it so it doesn't go so far, which to me the, kind of defeats the whole purpose of it. Obviously I'm, I'm not gonna be throwing haymakers all the time on a Cobra bag, but um, you're definitely gonna have to lighten the power on your punches in order for the rebound a little bit quicker. So in my opinion, at $79, this is a good bag, one for beginners um, and two for individuals that are younger, shorter, and want to get into boxing and you don't want to break the bank and you know go all, go all out and get a three, four hundred, five hundred dollar bag. Then this is definitely a good alternative at $79. So, uh, not a bad piece of equipment for the advanced users. I would probably spend a little bit more money um, and get something like the, the slow time or the ringside or the title, just depending on um, what you prefer, your personal preference, and go with that. So if you guys have any questions or comments, as usual, usual make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. Uh, I'll put the link in the description box where you can find this Cobra Reflex bag. And I'll see you guys next time.